it's cold. Welcome back to my channel and Vlogmas. I haven't vlogged or filmed in a few days because this past weekend I was in South Carolina so I like filmed a few videos before I left. But then when I came back, I was like visiting with friends before they left for the holidays and didn't get to film. So I'm a couple days behind. So if you're watching this, I also just uploaded two other days. So today's and two other days to catch up. So definitely go and check those out once you're done watching this. And don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Um, I really appreciate and love when y'all subscribe because... It's just fun to have a little community of happiness. So today, well, first, look at all the stuff I need to donate. Not very organized, but I need to do that. And oh my gosh, my bones are shivering. And in Nashville, you actually have to get your car tested like for emissions and make sure it's good. So I have to go and do that. So I, cause my plates are expired since November. So I need to get that inspected so I can go get my new plates um, for Tennessee. The real point of this video is I am going around today to pick up a, one single donut from like the top four-ish donut shops around Nashville. Some that I know and some that I've tried and then some that I have just like seen really good reviews on the Googler. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna bring them all back home and Evan and I are gonna have a little like, um, what's the right word? We're gonna rate the top donuts of Nashville and tell you guys which ones are the best, which I have a feeling I know which one's the best because I love them and I always bring people to go try them. But let's get the show on the road. Okay guys, got my car checked, I passed, we're in the clear, now I just gotta get my plates. I was refraining from videoing right now because there's so many people around me and I'm sitting in my car and they're probably gonna be like, what's that girl doing? But whatever, um, it's the risks you take, you know? But I'm at the first donut shop, which is probably one of like the favorited amongst Nashville. You could probably ask almost anyone and that is Five Daughters Bakery. It is adorable i'll show you inside but they make special donuts so this is going to be a hard thing to compare to like a normal donut but everyone also knows what like a classic crispy cream donut tastes like so um five daughters makes cronuts so they're a mix of like croissant and donuts and then some have filling some don't i'm gonna like go in and try to figure out which would be most comparable to other ones i might even ask them so then they can help me but yeah let's go in i'll show you what it looks like so cute it's so cute. And Christmassy. Okay, so I showed you, but I got the purest donut. It's their like Krispy Kreme classic kind of style. So it's just what you would consider to be still like a five daughters cronut, but like a, a glaze. So I'm gonna try to stick to that theme of being getting like glazed donuts. So Next, we're gonna go to the Donut Den, so let me drive. Here is Donut Den, and it's super like cute, old school-ish. <laughs> so I got one of the last glazed donuts, as you saw. Those are the only glazed ones left, and it was the one that was most gone, so it must be the best. I feel like so that's good and that one was only a dollar 45 okay so the next place we're gonna go is we're gonna go to Krispy Kreme get a classic donut and then we're gonna go to this place called Shipley Donuts by my house kind of and I have no idea what it is but it came up like high on the Google ratings so let's go I'm shook right now I put Krispy Kreme in my hang on someone's coming I put Krispy Kreme in my um, GPS you know thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna go to a Krispy Kreme store. You guys, it literally took me to their warehouse. I'm not joking, look. And I'm also almost out of gas, so joy. Time to get gas and find another Krispy Kreme. All right, y'all, it's official. I'm struggling. I just drove in like five circles because I was stressed I was gonna run out of gas and then I didn't know where I was going. <sighs> And I failed you. Not really. I'm gonna forgive myself. But the place that I was gonna go, Shipley Donuts, is closed 15 minutes ago. So if I didn't drive in five circles, I probably could have been here. 
want to hide but honestly if i'm gonna be real i have the worst cramps right now i that's what made me drive in five circles is because i literally can't focus on anything other than like not wanting to just fall over and die from these cramps which is dramatic but i like usually put an oil called pan away on my cramps and that helps <sighs> this is what shipley did look like and we're leaving now so we're gonna we're gonna face the top two donut places in nashville five daughters and donut den and then we are gonna face it against Krispy Kreme. Hi, welcome to Krispy Kreme. What can I get for you today? Can I have just a single glazed donut? Anything else? That's it. 130, second window. Thank you. 130. Thank you. Whee! We did it. We've got our three donuts. We're tasting. At this point, I feel like I deserve a dozen. <laughs> okay, no one's here. False He's alarm. Kidding, it was the fridge. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, cakes. All right, we got our special guest, Evan. Mm, the food Woo! critic. And maniac dogs. All right, <laughs> so we got to judge on overall. Do we have like categories, like appearance? Excuse me. I'm just like crushing You have peanut butter anyway. Because I was eating peanut butter and jelly. We can't judge on, um, our, like, we can't just automatically mm. pick go. $5 bakery because it's our favorite place to go for a donut. I think we should judge on branding, too. Of what? The bag? Yeah. After many adventures, we made it. Donut Den, Krispy Kreme, and $5. So, let's pick a first, second, and third for branding. I, 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 I love the Fox's Donut Den. I think this is probably my favorite. Really? Yeah. I think it's such a classic. Krispy Kreme doesn't win. But Krispy Kreme is also classic. It's old school, new school. I like I like, I like Five Daughters Bakery. Because I think it's like modern, but... I think this is like... That vintage. one's cute. That's second. All right, let's unleash the beast. I got a classic, like, glaze donut. Like, their best glaze donut is what I got. To compare with what everyone knows, the Krispy Kreme glaze. I'm was sure you have tasted that. The hot light was not on. Awesome. This one looks like That's meh. That's great. I mean, All right, let's get a close-up. We yeah. have Fox's Donut Den. Approximately a dollar and like 30 cents, I think. Here we got, oh yeah, look at that. A cronut from Five Daughters with no filling. This was their um, donut that was comparable to like the classic glaze and this was like 4.65, I think. And then we've got this shiny looking Krispy Kreme classic glaze donut, which was like a dollar 60, I think. Here are the candidates. So let's judge on appearance first. Yeah, we need to do appearance. Look at the drip on that. All right, what do you rate? Appearance category, I rate cronut because look at that drip and then like look at all of these layers. You can't really say that this doesn't look like the best. I would say Krispy Kreme is second because look at how shiny. This Fox's one is pretty good. Okay. And this has more of like a homemade look to it. That's, that's like not perfect, but. Okay, so what's so. your one, two, three overall? All right, you have to pick the cronut. I like the homemade look of foxes. Okay, so you vote foxes a second. Yeah, one, two, three. We'll judge what the centers of them look like. Oh, making a mess. I wish you could see Ellie right now. Oh. Wow. Wow, look at all the layers. <sighs> I'm making a total mess. It's kind of the point. Mmm. But it, it doesn't count. You're not supposed to do that. What are you doing? Look at this. I think Dang. she said a hundred layers. A hundred? I swear, that's what she said. You count them. A hundred layer cronut from Five Daughters Bakery. Wow. Why won't it flip and be in post? There we go. Now you rip one. Doughy. Pretty good. It's quite soft, actually. Reminds me of a pretzel. Time for Krispy Kreme. Ooh. 
Did you smell the one? Ooh, the... this one ripped so easy. Mm, that one looks more like a pretzel then. Huh. Looks it. <laughs> it smells the best. This one this, wins for no, the smell. No, this one smells good. Okay, let's vote the smell. Smell that. <sighs> that one smells so good. Coronet doesn't win at the smell. Krispy Kreme wins at the smell. I don't know. That yeah. one reminds me of an elephant ear. I vote for smell, Krispy Kreme, Fox's Den, Cronut. Or do you like Krispy Kreme? Yeah. And then Fox's last is Cronut. Okay, this is torture. Now that we ripped them all, we have to vote on which center looks the best as far as bake goes. So. Well, I mean, you got a hundred layer thing and then we have some two yeast donuts over here. It's gonna Listen, be. Listen, they could compare. Krispy Kreme kind of reminds me of a pretzel, so I don't like which one? Which one's second place? Because we know Cronuts first. Here's kind of like this one. Krispy Kreme on the Look right. At the pocket. Right. This is Krispy Kreme, and then he has Fox's Den. Look at this pocket down here. Got air bubbles. This one's all air bubbles. Look. Man, look at that. I don't know. I, I like. I'm. Here we go. I'm a fan of this Fox, Fox's. Okay, so Fox's Den takes second. Yeah. For the center break. Can you quit break. licking your fingers, please? No. Let's eat it now. All right. Okay, wait, we should have taken tally. One minute, guys. I wrote out all of the um, categories that we're doing on my phone, so then we'll go back and we'll look at like which one has gotten the most votes, and we're doing both of our first place winners. We've done branding, appearance, the middle, like tear, the smell, and now we're doing the taste. Come on. Let's go, let's restart. We gotta eat them both at the same time. Yeah, so. let's start this way. I didn't taste it. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> cheers! <laughs> okay, cheers. <laughs> We're good. Mm. Oh my god. That's the best video I've ever filmed. It's very sweet. I feel like it's just pure sugar. Yeah, it, you can taste the sugar. But I like the vanilla y taste. Yeah, a little vanilla. You can taste all the sugar granules. I my teeth hurt. Should we save one bite? Oh, wow, there's a hell left. <laughs> we gotta save one bite in case we need to come back to it. Okay, that's good enough. I don't like um, how skinny it gets once it's in your mouth. Yeah, sure. It like dissolves into sugar. Palette friends. Time for the cronut. You wanna split that or should we? Just... No. Okay. Ding. Ding. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> Less sweet. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. More Buttery. flavor. Mm. Like the pastry is so good. It's like a croissant meets a donut, literally. Literally, yeah. The taste. It's a lot of buttery. Or a little bit. Yeah, it's good. Mm. And the the glaze is not like sugar it's melted, poured over. It's a perfect mix of like not an icing, but almost. Good. This one definitely beats Krispy Kreme. Ten out of ten. That was really good. I've actually never had that one. I usually get the like stuff. You get, stuffed you get them with all crazy stuff on it. We'll have yeah. to go to Oregon next time and get some voodoo donuts. And we'll become donut concierge. All right, donut then. I'm excited about this one. Squishy. Yeah, it's great. Dink. Dink. Mm. Mm. It tastes like an elephant ear to me. You can taste the pastry. It's not. You don't taste the sugar. Yeah, it's definitely better than Krispy Kreme, but it's too oh, it's doughy for me. Oh, not as sweet. I love that. It was too doughy. What Tasting. Is? Like, the only taste you get is, like, the dough and then the icing. You get some sugar, you get some dough. Right. Yeah. It was, the dough and then the glaze, that's it's it. It's really good, though. Yeah. It still is better than Krispy Kreme. Damn. I would get those again. Like, those would be good without the glaze on it. Obviously, taste, I think. We're going to both pick... Five daughters. Five daughters. And then second place for me is Foxes. And probably Same. for you. Branding, Donut Den has one. Five daughters has one. Appearance, five daughters gets both. Use your other hand. For five daughters. Um, Why do you have two fingers? Because this is my votes. These are your votes. And then for the middle bake, you voted five daughters and I voted five daughters. For the smell, you voted Foxes and I voted... Krispy Kreme. Um, well, Krispy Kreme lost, so I'm not gonna count that. For taste, we both counted five dollars. Four. Look who won. 
Five daughters. Five daughters. I'd say this is the best donut in Nashville. Fox is good though. I go after eating that, I go into this. The winner is Five, five Daughters, daughters Bakery. That's so silly. <laughs> but if you gotta factor price into this thing, which we could do, you can get I think if you're just looking for like a good cheap donut. Two and a half of these guys before you get one of five daughters. That's two sixty and this was like a dollar thirty. Or four sixty. You can get yeah, like three of them. Dang. Sugar. Five dollars is so good. That's so good. I hope you guys liked our donut comparison video. We are not gonna keep doing these because we'll turn into a donut. But um if you ever are in Nashville, we vote to go to Five Daughters Bakery if you want like a good, like luxurious donut. And if you want more of like a classic homemade donut for like a dollar something, then you can go over to Fox's Donut Den. Yeah. And either or will be delicious. Krispy Kreme is kind of... It's kind of let down. Overrated. Yeah. I mean, it was good, but it was just like pure sugar. It's so sugary. So, don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you like this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, is that it? Do it again? No. With the, we should do it with the three worst rated donut places. Maybe. Comment if you would like to see the three worst places in Nashville. I don't think I'm going to become a food reviewer. All right, love you all. See you very soon. <gasps> we got to do the good word of the day. So I actually didn't even tell you this, but there's this guy, this older man. How do you say that? Prairie de Sock. In Prairie de Sock, Wisconsin, that is actually dying from, I believe it's cancer. And all that like his family wanted to do for him for Christmas was to share his um, address and to have everyone send him a Christmas card. So I screenshotted it so I can remember and we can send him a Christmas card. Good, yeah. um, so I will put the address down below if you guys also want to send him a Christmas card. His name is Gene and has the address and he just needs some love. So if you want to do that, you definitely should comment below if you do because I think that'd be cool. And I think that's it. So we love you. Mic drop. Peace. Peace. Bye.